In the heart of a frigid Scandinavian forest, where ancient trees whispered secrets to the wind and shadows danced with the moonlight, lived a solitary hunter named Eric. His life was a rhythmic dance with nature, a dance punctuated by the crack of his bow and the thrum of his heartbeat. He was a man untouched by the softness of civilization, his soul as wild and untamed as the wilderness he called home. One winter, as the world was blanketed in a pristine layer of snow, Eric's life took an unexpected turn. While tracking a deer, he stumbled upon a hidden cavern, its entrance veiled by a shimmering curtain of ice. Curiosity, a potent force in the heart of a hunter, drew him in. Within the cavern, a world of ethereal beauty unfolded before him. Crystal formations glinted like diamonds, and an otherworldly silence reigned supreme. At the cavern's heart, a creature of myth and legend lay dormant a colossal bear, its fur as white as the snow outside. But this was no ordinary bear. Its eyes, when they opened, held a depth of intelligence and sorrow that chilled Eric to the bone. A bond, inexplicable and profound, formed between the man and the beast. Days turned into weeks as Eric spent countless hours in the cavern, tending to the bear's needs. A language of gestures and silent communion developed between them, a language as old as time itself. And then, one crisp winter night, as the aurora borealis painted the sky with hues of emerald and crimson, the bear spoke. Its voice, a deep, resonant rumble, echoed through the cavern. It spoke of a curse, a wicked enchantment cast upon it by an evil sorceress. Once a prince of a neighboring kingdom, he had been transformed into a bear as punishment for a transgression he could not recall. The curse could only be broken by the love of a pure-hearted human, a love as vast and enduring as the forest itself. Eric, heart pounding with a mix of fear and fascination, felt a strange pull towards the bear. Was this the love the creature spoke of? Could a man and a beast truly share such a bond? The questions gnawed at him but so too did a growing sense of responsibility. He had found this creature in need, and he could not abandon it. As spring approached, the bear grew restless. Its human form began to emerge, a slow and painful process. Eric watched in awe and horror as the beast writhed in agony, its skin cracking and peeling away to reveal a man beneath. But it was not the prince of fairy tales Eric had imagined. The man was scarred, his body marked with the ravages of time and transformation. And then, there was the face. Half human, half bear, it was a grotesque mask of suffering. Eric's heart sank. This was not the love story he had envisioned. This was a nightmare brought to life. Yet, a flicker of hope remained. Perhaps, with time, the curse would be fully broken, and the man would be restored to his former glory. With renewed determination, Eric vowed to stand by the creature, through pain, through fear, through whatever trials lay ahead. After all, in the heart of the wild, survival was not about beauty or perfection, but about courage, loyalty, and the unyielding spirit to endure. Their journey had just begun, a perilous odyssey into the unknown, filled with as many dangers as promises. The forest, once a silent observer, now became a stage for their drama, a world where magic and reality intertwined, and where the fate of a man and a beast hung in the balance.